So excited to show you around this beautiful flip. We love this sweet old neighborhood. This house has wonderful bones. It just needed a spruce. We bought it from the original owners and we are so thrilled to just bring it to life. So come on in, see what we do. Welcome to Woodlode with the sticky front door. Here is this beautiful dining room right as you walk into the home. Um, it is just so bright in here. We have no lights on, as you can see, and there is natural light coming in from all over the place. Come on, Then you come down the hall right here. You want to just go into this living room that I could just curl up and read a book in all day. It is unbelievable in here. Just the light, and you touch the fireplace uh, brick original. We just painted the mantle. We just wanted to kind of bring everything to life in here. All of this paneling on the wall was the dark wood paneling, so we painted it all. Just make it fresh and clean, but we didn't want to change anything. We kept the French doors and the windows and all of that stuff because it's just so, so, so beautiful. It goes right into the dining room and then down into the kitchen at the other end of the house. So here we are in the foyer. So we just went back into the living room, the dining room, and now come with me into this beautiful kitchen I'm so excited about. I took a very bold stance here with these green cabinets. This is a clary sage green, but I love how it turned out. I just felt like this house had this really neat vintage look to it, and it's what I wanted to bring to life. So we kept everything very, very simple with the counters and the backsplash. Um, but then painted the green cabinets and then just updated things fresh with like more modern cabinet holes, of course, the stainless steel appliances, big deep basin sink, and um, a really high faucet. So we were just really excited to get to kind of freshen this space up but still keep this traditional look. And you can see this beautiful staging that was done to just really bring this room to life, show its wonderful use and just really get a family excited about having holidays here and starting their weekends here, starting every day here. Oh, I just love it. It's so peaceful in this room, even with these bright green cabinets. It just is fabulous. Welcome to this primary retreat. You guys, this room is amazing. Again, we have absolutely no lights on in this house and the natural lighting here is stunning. This is such a peaceful space. The room is huge with plenty of opportunity for storage, but then still getting a big bed in here, even a sitting area on that back wall. It's so wonderful. And then into the most grand primary bathroom, um, one of the best we've ever had. I love this room. And we actually changed a few things in here. So now when you come in, you've got a vanity to your right and a vanity to your left. But the way that it was when we bought this, if you can see in the wall, it kind of zigzags. And the sink was actually here in the middle of where the wall comes to a point. And so it was very awkward with these big mirrors on the wall. Both sides were like that. So there were two sinks and both sinks were like up against where the point in the wall was. So we took all that out, oriented the sinks onto the two side walls and then built these gorgeous cabinets so that you still had tons of storage and just an opportunity to really get comfortable in here so you have some good space, but it just also made the vanities bigger and more countertop space in the vanity. So then here on this back wall was actually a built-in for a tub, and then the shower was in this corner. It was a very, very small corner shower. So what we were able to do is take the building out, built it out, extend the shower about 18 inches, and then have space for this gorgeous soaking tub. I just absolutely love it. So now everything feels much more open instead of having that this like very built-in rigid um, space here. We were able to open that up, appreciate the light that is beaming into this room, and just really create a nice peaceful sanctuary. Next, I want to show you upstairs, but not without bringing attention to the best window in the house. This 
incredibly tall, I don't even know how tall, beautiful window letting so, so much light in here, but it also lets light into the upstairs. So come on up here with me and see this space. There are three giant bedrooms up here, two full bathrooms, one of which is a Jack and Jill. So there's just a lot of really great setup for a family. Um, and then just this gorgeous um, game room, kind of sitting area, maybe even an office, which is how we have it staged. It's so peaceful. And again, I say this all the time, but it's so true. My favorite part is also so much natural light coming in. That big tall window that I showed you is just letting the light flood the space. And it's just so, so peaceful out here. So you really could create this to be anything. There's also this neat little kind of nook attic room that the previous owner was using as an office. But just again, another space, there's a window in there and you could just really make it your own. Or maybe it's like a kid's hideout or something like that. Um, but this house has just completely come to life. We are so thrilled with how it turned out and we are really excited to get it on the market and share it with the world um, because we're just so pleased with everything that's been done to really give this house some life and some love. We are Everson Cooper, your as-is homebuyer.